All right, I'm back again, and have you ever come across something so stupid you basically lose faith in humanity? If ever there was a dodo alert, this would be it. And I came across this story to, earlier today, and this is about Tesco. Tessica Brown down in Louisiana. Or you may know her as the Gorilla Glue Girl. From what I understand, she's actually like 40, and from what I have seen, people are claiming she's like 40 and she's a school teacher. If you're not familiar with her, she ran out of her usual hair gel that she uses and decided to use Gorilla brand heavy duty spray adhesive. Totally the same thing, right? Now, I've seen some comments. People are saying you should not tear her down. It was an honest mistake. It was a simple mistake. Okay, first off, if you can read freaking English and you can see something that says it was intended to glue wood, foam, latex, vinyl, things like that, probably is not a good idea to just go around putting it on your body. Also, if you want to talk simple mistakes having soap in your eyes and grabbing conditioner to put on your body instead of say a body wash that's a mistake putting you know, trying to stick your leg in the wrong, uh, in the same pent leg as your other leg, that could be, that's a mistake. It happens. Taking a shower and putting drain cleaner on you because you left it beside your shampoo and not realizing the bottles are different that's stupid. Putting what is intended to be a permanent adhesive on your body, including your hair, even if it doesn't, the label does not specifically say hair, even though it says do not ingest, do not put in your eyes or your own skin, that's stupid. And it really makes you wonder about society as a whole. It really does if we've gotten to this point. And if that doesn't do it for you, word is she has contacted an attorney about filing suit against the makers of Gorilla Glue because the label did not specifically state, do not put in your hair. See, I kind of circled around to my emphasis on the warning label. Now, I don't know if what I what you see online is true. If she's really a forty-year-old school teacher, if she is, she should be hanging her head in shame. Uh, even if she isn't, to be a grown adult who understands English. Like, she is not, English is not a second language for her. There's no communication barrier. There is no excuse for grabbing a product that clearly states on the label it is intended for wood, for vinyl, for glass, ceramic, whatever. If it does not state it is intended to use in your hair, I tend to not want to use it in my hair. 
IQ test involved here, and you know, I don't want to say anything, it's not official, but I'm pretty sure she failed. And if you're making excuses for her, please, for the love of God, do not do that. There is such a thing as an innocent mistake, and then there's being stupid. Grabbing spray adhesive and thinking it would be fine in your hair is stupid. Like I said, if you want to have your hair stay in place, use hairspray. If you don't have it, do without for one day. It ain't going to kill you. Or do without until you actually get the proper products. It will not kill you. But using a product that is not, it states, it is not intended, well, it states what it was intended to be used on. And, yeah, the warning label didn't say do not use on hair, but you would think if it says do not use on skin, do not get in eyes, do not ingest, those would be some pretty strong hints that maybe you shouldn't be putting it in your hair. And I, you know, I'd like to say there, I hope there would be no attorney take this on. But I don't have faith in attorneys. And I would like to think that there would be a judge laugh and say, you're an idiot. Only be nicer about it than I am. And throw it out. much faith in that other. It really makes you wonder where we are as a society. If we have people doing something blatantly and brazenly stupid and trying to hold other people accountable for your stupid decision. I'll have some links down below. Let me know what you think. Am I being too harsh? Um, I'll ask your opinion. Am I being too harsh on her? Or... Are there just too many people trying to turn a blind eye? I mean, this is one of those situations where I don't think there is much middle ground. You either I don't know. I, this has me bum bum. Anyway, again, let me know what you think. Later.